My, my question to you is, I repeatedly ask the question of money changing hands because that is part of Mohua Moitra's uh, ex-confidant uh, Jay Anand Dehadrai's uh, uh, affidavit and he talks about cash, 75 lakhs uh, for her election expenditure and 2 crores to her uh, uh, friend and another member of parliament from Orissa. I, I want to ask you, when there is money and talk of money, and Dalit, while he did not confirm in so many words, he said he would depose before an authority, he did not even deny the fact that this has taken place. And he talks about the fact that expensive gifts, travel expenses, uh, you know, uh, luxury bags, uh, Hermes, calves, all kinds of, uh, you know, very, very expensive gifts were being given. Homes were being renovated. Sarkari homes given by the parliament, given by uh, the uh, Lok Sabha pool were being refurbished by, uh, you know, corporate interests. And in return, questions were being asked. It's a sordid tale of how things are happening in parliament and does, does uh, the member of parliament and does the party not owe an answer to the nation? You see, Navika, I have deep reservations about how much reliance can be placed upon the statement made by Mr. Dehadrai. You see, they, Ms. Mahua Moita and Mr. Dehadrai are already in a dispute and uh, yes, over, uh, you know, over it's known dog, to uh, Henry. The, the dispute is before the court <laughs> as well. Yes, yes, they, they, it is known that you know, he, he is a jitted ex and uh, they are fighting a dis dispute over the custody of the dog. And uh, under these circumstances, he chose to uh, attack Mova Moita now. All right. While he even if all I even if I agree, even if when, I agree you know. that there is a dispute between these two, they have personal problems. I'm only I'm not interested in the personal relationships. I'm not interested in uh, uh, getting into that uh, equation at all. All I'm asking is, are the facts true or not true? And the facts are about the questions in return for cash, in return for luxury gifts. That has not been denied by either the member of parliament and that has not been denied, in fact, has been confirmed by the person who gave them. So isn't, isn't that the moot point, uh, Jaydeep Mojumda? Oh. <clears throat> Absolutely. Mohua Mitra is guilty and guilty as charged on both the charges. She took uh, material benefits, money, etc., for asking those questions, 51 out of 60 or whatever. And number two, she gave the login and password, uh, login details and password to Hiranandani. These are the two primary charges against her, and she's guilty of both the charges. As you said, she has not denied any of the charges. And I would like to bring, a, uh, bring about a second point here. If she is innocent, then why did she deploy her lawyer, Gopala Shankara, Gopal Shankara Narayanan, to cut a deal with, with Jay Anand Dehadrai if, if she is innocent? Uh, an innocent lady will not ask her lawyer to cut a deal with someone else, with, with the other party, with the opposite party. She asked her lawyer, Gopal uh, the lawyer, the advocate did not act on his own. Uh, uh, she has been bringing about wild allegations that the uh, affidavit was drafted by the PMO, etc. Uh, and, and she has nothing, I, uh, you know, people should challenge her to produce proof of these allegations that she has uh, but, brought about. But then those allegations have been rubbished by Darshan Hiranandani, the man himself, who wrote that affidavit and who confirmed to me in his uh, interview yesterday that there was no pressure on him, that he drafted with his lawyers this particular affidavit and he was forced to do so because his company was not involved. It was his personal involvement as a close personal friend with Mahua Moitra since 2017, you know, which is why he has taken the U-turn and decided to come out clean. And he said he had done it of his own volition. Then, where are the allegations being made by Mahua Moitra against the PMO, against uh, all, all of the others in this entire story? Really, where do they stand today? In fact, is the ball not back in Mahua Moitra's court?
does she not need to come clean on just the very simple fact on did she give her login ID and password to a corporate honcho, friend or otherwise, to file questions from a remote location in Dubai for corporate interests that he may have had to attack another Indian corporate. And in, in this bargain, she tried to further her political career by attacking Prime Minister Modi. Can there be a worse sordid political attack on the Prime Minister for political reasons? I can't think of any. Can you? Thank you very much. We'll end the debate on that note. We'll wait for the 26th of October when the Ethics Committee first hears this entire matter. We'll wait for what happens then. Will Mohua Moitra be asked to depose? Well, all of that news. Keep watching. Times now. We'll get you all the big details. For today, thank you for joining me. Stay safe.